Solve the differential equation dy by dx plus root 1 plus y square by root 1 plus x square equal to 0. So first note down what is given de. Next uh, we will decide which type of de it is. So this is given de. So in which we have only dy by dx. If we have only dy by dx that is first order first degree de. That may be in uh, so many forms. But if you can separate y terms and x terms, that comes under variable separable. So if you see here, y terms are individual, x terms are individual. Not like 1 plus xy, x squared y, x cube y cube. We don't have like that. Even though if you have like that, if you can separate x and y, that comes under variable separable. This is direct one. By seeing the question itself, one can easily identify. We can separate y and x. How we are going to separate? See, dy by dx. If you send this term to right side, minus root of 1 plus y square by 1 plus x square. This I am writing like this. Root of a by b can be written as root a by root b. So, this root can be separated for numerator and denominator. So you can separate like this, root 1 plus y square by root 1 plus x square. Now you can get clear idea, now we can take this root 1 plus y square to this side, dx to that side. So then y terms will be one side, x terms will be another side. So what I am saying, take this root 1 plus y square to this side. 1 by root 1 plus y square dy, get this, get this dx to this side minus 1 by root 1 plus x square dx. Now, if you want, you can take that uh, RHS term to this side, left side. 1 by root 1 plus y square dy plus 1 by root 1 plus x square dx equal to 0. So, here you can get very uh, clear idea. If we send this term to RHS, then you will uh, find out this is variable separable y terms we can separate, x terms we can separate. One simple point you need to keep in your mind, you know this, but uh, very careful here. If you do that mistake, the total problem will be wrong. What is that? This dy and dx should be always in numerator. Simply to get x terms one side, y terms another side, you cannot take root 1 plus x square to this side, dy to this side. First keep these two in numerator, dy should be in numerator, dx should be in numerator. The remaining terms only you can take LHS and RHS. Here dy is in numerator, then you cannot send dy to this side. dx is denominator, so you should not keep dx in denominator, so take dx to this side. There you can decide x terms will be in RHS, y terms will be in LHS. Like that only you need to separate. Now, integrate to get general solution of given d. Integrate, integrating, integral root 1 plus y square dy plus integral root 1 plus x square dx equal to 0. We all know this formula. Integral 1 by root 1 plus x square dx equal to sin h inverse x. That formula only we are having here. Integral 1 by root 1 plus x square dx sin h inverse x. Integral 1 by root 1 plus y square sin h inverse y. So, you will get this one. Sin h inverse y plus sin h inverse x. Because indefinite integration, that means we don't have limits. Whenever if you integrate without limits, you need to add one constant, arbitrary constant c. After integration, you have to add plus c. So that problem ends. This is the general solution of given d. General solution of given differential equation is sin h inverse x y plus sin h inverse x plus c equal to 0. Like this, one can easily solve the problem in variable separable form. If you want, you can mention here, this is in variable separable form. 
this is in variable separable form that's why we are separating the variables and integrating if the given first order first degree d is in variable separable form to get general solution simply separate the variables x terms one side y terms another side then integrate you will get a general solution if you have any doubts you may express solve the differential equation dy by dx equal to e power x minus y plus x square e power minus y so by seeing directly the de we cannot decide that is in variable separable form so first write given de and simplify that one so that you will have a clear idea that is in variable separable form what i am doing we know this formula a power n plus n equal to a power m into a power n using that i am splitting this one into two terms like this e power x into e power minus y plus x square e power minus y so now you have clear idea e power minus y is common we can take e power minus y common if you take e power minus y common then you will have x terms separately now y terms we can separate x we can separate which is in variable separable form which is in variable separable when it is in variable separable form get y terms one side and x terms another side but keep one point dy should be in numerator that means you have to get y terms this side dx should be in numerator dx should be sent to rhs so what i am saying i am taking e power minus y to this side i am sending dx to rhs so if you take e power minus y to this side what happens 1 by e power minus y because that is multiplying dy equal to e power x plus x square dx 1 by e power minus y can be written like this e power y dy equal to e power x plus x square dx now variables were separated simply integrate you will get the answer integrating integrating what you will get integral e power y dy equal to integral e power x plus x square dx these two formulas you need to recall integral e power x everyone know e power x integral x power n everyone know the first integration formula x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 so integral e power x is e power x integral e power y also e power y integral e power x e power x integral x power n x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 integral x square x cube by 3 after integration you need to add constant okay like this simply we can uh, solve a variable separable de which is very most important for short answer questions okay